Hello and welcome to my food channel. This is Chef Sahar Morkos. Now I will be sharing a very tasty recipe for ice cream. It's Mastic ice cream or Arabic gum ice cream. Before I start with my recipe, can I please trust you by hitting the like button and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and share the recipe as well. Thank you. Let's start. Okay, the ingredients we are going to use whipping cream powder double cream sugar full fat milk pistachio nuts um, some edible roses if you want to use it to decoration it's not that essential and something called sahlab sahlab you can buy online or i can share later on a recipe how to do it here i have a liter of full fat milk i added uh, half a liter of uh, double cream now you can use only one liter in case you could get a farm milk uh, as this was just uh, supermarket milk i had to use double cream to give it that um, distinct uh, flavor and then i added 200 grams of sahlab well actually sahlab is composed of starch and coconut powder i will surely um, write a recipe how to do that very soon so you mix them all together and I added only half a cup of icing, uh, icing sugar. If you want it very sweet, you can add more. It's not essential. I, I did add just half a cup for me. That was enough. So now that all the ingredients have dissolved together, we need to put this into the hop okay and um, go near boiling not to boil just near boiling it will go really hot and then you add your arabic gum now i usually buy the arabic gum from a turkish shop or you can buy it as well online or from um, um, an asian shop as well they have it what i do is i always ground a whole packet of uh, arabic gum with um, a tablespoon of custard sugar and um, in the mill ground it in the mill and then uh, i used here just near boiling i added a teaspoon of uh, arabic gum to that and i will keep stirring until it thickens So this is my Arabic gun that I uh, was explaining earlier. The consistency we are looking for is exactly like a thick custard. When you see that your uh, your milk is thickening add a tablespoon of blossom orange water uh, or rose water so when you have the extra thick custard consistency add some pistachio to your uh, sahlab. This is called sahlab, okay? And then you need to start preparing your uh, whipping cream. Um, I'm, I'm using one sachet of whipping cream and mixing that with uh, a, top, a small tub of uh, um, double cream. And then I will add that to the ishta. There is a recipe on my uh, YouTube channel how to do Arabic ishta. However, it's very easy. I can tell you how to do it. Use one liter of full fat cream and uh, bring it to boil and then add three tablespoons of uh, 
still vinegar, white still vinegar, then it will split the curd with the water. You take the curd out, that is the ishta. I mix that with extra thick cream, mix it really, really well. You can use, even I used here like an Arabic cream, mix it really well, then add it to the whipped cream, and then add this, all of this to, to my uh, sahlab. Now you can do a lighter version. You just get extra thick cream and add it to the sahlab with a bit of curd and that's it. But as I am not using farm milk and the flavor will be mild, it wouldn't give the authentic taste of, um, of, of, the, of the ice cream. This is why I did all of this. After mixing all the ingredients, which is the sahlab with the cream, okay, I had a tray and I layered that with a bit of foil and then on top of that a cling film. Why I didn't put it straight away on this, uh, on the on the foil? Because the ice cream will go under the foil and uh, it will stick. It's easier to remove a cling film than. Uh, than the foil. Now, because we use that curd and that curd is similar to mozzarella, so this ice cream will be a bit gluey. So um, you need to be really careful and you need to put a cling film under it. Now, my advice, make it a thin layer, a thin, a, a thin layer. Here, it was a bit thick and it was a bit difficult for me to roll it, but hey-ho, it was tasty. <laughs> So after you put all your mixture in the trays, now this made for me two trays and it made in fact three rolls, three rolls of ice cream. So you, you, you're gonna roll this ice cream eventually. Now you need, before you put this mixture in the freezer, you need to put another cling film on top because to avoid food burning and to avoid the taste to change. I left it for uh, around uh, seven hours my advice keep checking on it after four hours in in between four hours and eight hours the moment it starts going um, frosty don't leave it to go that hard it will be easier for you to roll it while it is not that hard By hard, I mean that it's not that frosty because, you know, as we know, ice is hard, so it will be difficult for you to roll it. So again, after four hours, between four hours to six hours, keep checking on it. And the moment you see it is not that liquidy and it started thickening, uh, 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 take it out of the freezer and do the next step. Now I took it after um, uh, eight hours and I started rolling it. So as you see, I'm trying to take off the cling film and then I will put it on a clean surface again with a clean film because it's a bit sticky and it will, um, it will dirty your hands. So it's easier to roll it with a clean film. Now, if you manage to get a thick plastic bag clear without, it will be easier for you to do it. Even to layer this tray with um, a thick plastic bag is better than clean film. As you see, the, uh, my ice cream is quite thick and I cut the tray so that I will get three pieces. Don't worry if it breaks because it will combine. It will look like a, a log.
when you roll it you need to put some pistachio at the bottom now i it could have put some pistachio as well on the top before rolling it but i put the pistachio inside so i didn't put on the top i'm just now um, putting it on the outside layer uh, the more pistachio you put the tastier is uh, the ice cream um, after you 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 just cover it with pistachio you need to wrap it really really well and put it in the freezer for the next day for at least 10 hours before you eat it Again, don't worry if if it was too thick with you like what I did here um, it's it's it might break don't worry again because when you roll it it will all recombine itself because we are still freezing it if you find it a bit difficult for you to roll leave it to defrost a little bit and do it um, again here I had three rolls and I'm, uh, I put them in cling film and in uh, silver foil as well and left them in the fridge overnight so it took me eight hours and left them for the next day overnight and i will show you how it will look like after sealing it with more uh, and covering it sorry with more pistachio so this is how it looked like the next day after i rolled it in more pistachio um, and then uh, <clears throat> covered it with some edible flowers. It's a very tasty ice cream. If you find it difficult, you can just prepare the ice cream and put it in a top and cover it with these uh, pistachio and edible flowers. It's very, very tasty. I highly recommend you trying it. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget the like the recipe and thank you.